Hey everybody, this is Doug with another short video for my fellow device patients. This one is about those little magnetic name tags that we get or little buttons that you can put on a lanyard. Now remember, I am not a medical professional. I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm just some guy on the internet. Uh, so if you have questions about magnets and how they interact with our devices, you should talk to your medical professionals, maybe even show them this video and listen and follow their directions. Thanks. All right, now I talk about our devices and how they interact with magnets on a number of other videos that I have posted on my YouTube page. You can go check those out if you're looking for more details. The, the quick version of it though is this. Our devices are designed to safely interact with magnets. Uh, some things that will not happen when our devices come into contact with magnets. Uh, the pacing will not stop. The programming will not get scrambled. The programming will not get changed. If you have an ICD, your device will not shock you. Nothing dangerous, really dangerous happens when your device comes into contact with a magnet. Here's what happens. With pacemakers and CRTPs, your device will, will change pacing modes. It'll move from the mode it's in right now to a different mode. And that pacing mode is a constant pacing rate, somewhere between 85 and 110 beats a minute, depending on which manufacturer you have. And it will stay there until you move the magnet away from your device, and then your device will go back to your pr previous pacing mode. Key point there, your device will not stop pacing you at any time. It will continue pacing you. With ICDs and CRTDs, when you put a magnet on a device, it will inhibit detections, which means your device will not shock you while the magnet is on top of the device. Now that can be potentially dangerous, so it's just a good idea to not put a magnet on top of your device. So with that information, let's talk about these little magnetic name tags that you can sometimes find in businesses. I don't have a, mag a magnetic name tag, uh, but I do have these magnetic um, collar stays, and actually I'm wearing them right now. Put them in your shirt, put a little stay on this side, a magnet on that side, and it makes it look like a button-down shirt. It's got a little magnet, looks like that, and that little tiny magnet is strong enough to initiate the magnet response with inside your device. Just connects to the stay like that. So I'm gonna use this as an example. Now this little magnet is strong enough to switch my device over uh, with, the, with the magnet response to the other mode. Uh, but it has to be directly on top of my device. Reason why is that there's an international standard for our devices that requires that a magnet needs to be a strength of 10 gauss at skin level in order to change the device over to the other mode. And this is just barely enough. This small magnet is just barely enough, but it has to be touching my skin and it has to be exactly in the right spot on the device to make that happen. Move it away an inch or two, it's not strong enough. So, could be we, we wear one of these on the opposite side of our device? Well, if I put my name tag right there, absolutely. We could absolutely wear this on the other side of our, our device. Not a problem at all. Uh, now, some people are worried, maybe that's a little too close. Well, the medical device companies out there, Boston Scientific, St. Jude, Abbott, and Medtronic, all say to keep magnetic magnets about six inches away from your device. Well, this is six inches. And for me, that's about the distance between my thumb and forefinger, so I can always test how far it is. But take a look here. Here's the edge of my device. Magnet is at least six inches away. I could even move it over further if I wanted to and put it over here. So yeah, we could wear this, uh, a magnetic name tag, and it would be at least six inches away from our device. Again, even if it were three inches, it would still be far enough away because it really needs to be directly on top of the device to initiate the response. What about lanyards? What if you're wearing a lanyard? It's got your ID from your company that you work at. What about them? Well, if we're putting this magnet right here, again, it's hanging far enough away from your device, a little bit closer, but it's about five inches away. That's still far enough away. The problem is lanyards move a little bit, and this could get close enough to the device, especially if I'm picking something up and I accidentally grab my badge and it's in that bundle of stuff and I'm holding it, and now this is resting on top of my device. So personally, I wouldn't wear a magnet on my lanyard just to be safe. Um, again, if it happens, it's no big deal. You just move the magnet and that's that. But just to be safe, I wouldn't wear a magnet on my lanyard personally. But a name tag, no problem. I'd have no problem with that at all. So hope that information is helpful. Uh, again, if you have any questions, I strongly recommend you talk to your medical professional team and follow their advice. Thanks.